when you look at how you travel through her house, that's just who Deborah is. And this is where she basically is part prisoner, but part also able to remove the armor. I had a gut instinct going into it that they were looking for a different type of look to the traditional comedy. By the way, so cool they let you move into a cheesecake factory. Oh, is that where you wait tables? That seems like a better fit. They asked when you read the Cheesecake Factory line, what did you think? And it's so easy, I think, to take that literal and bring in, you know, gold gilded column capitals. At the core, Deborah's a normal person and kind of a quirky person, but there is a level of sharpness that she puts on the surface in order to just keep her fierceness moving forward. And I think most of her first floor in the public areas are still a bit of Deborah's showy persona, and everything downstairs is kind of like hard formalized furniture. Everything has kind of a girth to it, but when you retreat up to her upstairs, which very few people are allowed to, the entire mood of the house changes. All of the furniture, had any hard element removed. So it's very relaxed, soft, upholstered furniture with luxe furs, as scripted, no less than 12 pillows on the bed. In one regard, we talked about the house being a bit of a flower. So downstairs is the thorns of the rose. And when you get upstairs, the petals unfold and she envelops into the softness of the blankets and the sheets. And she's extremely upset when Ailiva violates that private domain. What are you doing? Yes, you. I can see you in the mirror. Oh, um. Sorry, special delivery. You almost can't understand one without the other. And I think you have to want them to find a friendship and a commonality. So you have to see that commonality even before they do, but that's not something that can be done through necessarily dialogue. So for what I felt I could bring to the table was a subconscious realization of that, that you felt whether you realized it or not. And I think that Lucia and Adam did that brilliantly with that opening montage of two, where you saw the two similar movements of their lifestyle. So you know they have the same routine, but the environment in which they're doing it in is completely contrast. And it's a, a difference of age, a difference of wealth, a difference of background, a difference of environment. Uh -huh. 